Hello friends, welcome to this vocabulary learning session by Promac. I am Nurse Reddy and today we will be learning some words beginning with letter A. The first word we will take up is a word ape. Ape, I guess most of you know. Ape is a type of monkey or an animal belonging to monkey family. We all came from apes. So in that meaning of a monkey or an animal belonging to monkey family, there are many words gorilla, chimpanzee, you know, orangutan, rhesus, baboon, these are all words that are taken in the meaning of different types of monkeys. So you have rhesus, you have baboon, gorilla, orangutan, ape, etc. All of you must have seen a movie called Planet of the Apes. So ape is an animal belonging to monkey family. However, the word ape, if you take it as a verb, has a meaning called imitate. Ape, if you take it as a verb form, also has a meaning called imitate. The younger generation, apes, movie actors and sportsmen, rock stars, pop singers, etc. in their dress, speech, hairstyle and behavior. If a famous singer or a rock star or a pop singer dresses in a particular way, then all the young boys and girls try to imitate that person's dress. If a particular movie actor speaks in a particular way, all the young boys and girls, they try to talk like that. They try to behave like that. So you are aping. You are aping somebody means you are imitating a person in your behavior, speech, attitude, dress. If you take ape in the meaning of to imitate or to be like someone, in the meaning of imitate or to be like someone, there is a list of synonyms, emulate, simulate, mimic, mock, etc. Emulate. Emulate is generally every one of us have a role model. Could be a very successful politician, could be a great religious person, could be a great actor, could be a great businessman, somebody or could be your father your grandfather, your brother, we all have an idol, we all have a role model. We try to mould our life like that person. We all follow in the footsteps of a particular person. Then that's called emulate. Hey, why are you living like this? I really, really, really admire my grandfather. I want to be like my grandfather. So I am studying, living, behaving in like my grandfather. I am trying to be like him. I am following in the footsteps of my grandfather. I am emulating my grandfather. So you are emulating. Emulating is imitate in the meaning of to be like someone, to follow in the footsteps of a person. To follow in the footsteps of a person is what is called emulate. You emulate somebody. Simulate. Simulate comes from a word called similar. So simulate is to create a similar situation. You are writing a test. You are taking SAT. You are taking ACT. You are taking GRE or you are taking GMAT or any test, you would like to know what can be the expected performance that you can expect in that particular test. 
then there are many practice tests available. If you take a representative practice test that looks exactly like the actual test, that has questions similar to the actual test, that gives you score which could be considered representative of the actual test, then you say, I have taken a simulated test. A simulation is to create a similar situation. So on TV, you keep seeing lot of programs related to either crime or some real life non-fiction events. So they show how something happened. Everything that is shown in the TV program is exactly like how it happened. Only difference is it's not the actual event. So then we can say it's a simulation of that event. So simulate is also to imitate or to create a similar situation. Mimic, we all know mimicry. Mimic is to imitate. Mark, originally the word mark was a word with slightly negative meaning. But over time it has become positive. What is mark? Mark is to imitate somebody in a ridiculing manner. I have a particular accent. I am an Indian and I speak with a certain thick Indian accent. You do not have an accent. You speak perfect English. But when you are talking to me, just to insult me or to ridicule me, you talk with my accent, imitating my accent. Then I feel bad and say, hey, are you mocking me? English is not my native language. I have learnt English, so I speak like that. Why are you mocking me by talking in the same accent? Or I have stammering. So I talk k -k 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 something. You do not have stammering. But just to ridicule or insult or laugh at me, you talk with a stammer when you are talking to me or you speak with a stutter when you are talking to me then I say are you mocking me so mock is to imitate a person in a ridiculing or insulting manner however over time this word has become fairly positive today we all use words like mock interview mock exam mock parliament mock assembly so mock drill so mock has taken something as not true, but just an imitation or something that is not real. So that's the way we take. So we have learned a word, ape. From ape, we have taken various words. Next word, starting with letter A, we will learn is aperture. Aperture is a hole. A hole that generally is an opening. So an opening. Yesterday my brother got a can of food. The can of food was completely sealed and I did not know how to open it. Then they, after some searching I found an aperture at one end of the lid. So I punctured the aperture and took out the food or I created an aperture and put a spoon and took out the item. So an aperture is a hole or an opening is what is called aperture. Nothing much to explain there. So that's what is aperture. Apex. Next word starting with the letter A is apex. Apex I guess we have learned earlier also apex, acme, Pinnacle, Summit, Zenith, all these words mean topmost point. So Apex, Acme, Pinnacle, Summit, Zenith, all these words mean topmost point. And Nadir is the bottommost point. We have discussed once or twice in some previous classes. So we will discuss. Uh, we, we will leave it at this. Next word we will take up is a word aphasia. Aphasia is a medical 
or psychological problem when a person has an injury to the brain it could be a physical injury or it could be a psychological or emotional injury like shock you are living a very happy healthy life suddenly in one unexpected incident somebody who is very 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 close to you dies you get a shock you have a mental shock because of that part of your brain gets injured or you have some physical accident because of this your brain gets injured and when there is a physical or mental shock to the brain in some people they lose the ability to speak they lose speech or they lose the ability to communicate that's what is called aphasia aphasia is loss of speech or loss of ability to communicate because of injury to brain or shock so that's what is aphasia aphorism aphorism already we have discussed in some previous session aphorism axiom apothem epigram so repetition is good because it will help you to remember the words epigram maxim so yadage so aphorism axiom apothem epigram maxim so yadage all these can be taken as a proverb or a wise message a pithy saying or comment a proverb a wise message a pithy saying or comment which contains lots of practical wisdom that is gained from generations of previous experience and wisdom that is passed on from ages that's called aphorism axiom apothem epigram maxim so adage so it's basically a proverb a wise saying a pithy short and very very meaningful sentence or a comment which conveys lot of meaning lot of wisdom so we learned a word aphorism we are learning some words starting with letter a the next word is apiary what is apiary as a general rule may not be true 100% of the time but many times whenever a word is ending with a or y ery e or y ery or o or y ery a or y ery e or y ery or o or y ery this word generally has a meaning called a group or collection of something or could also be a place where something is collected a group or collection of something or a place where something is collected before understanding apiary let us understand some words which we already know these are all words which we are familiar with machinery factory library laboratory dictionary dairy poultry etc all these are place where something is collected or collection of something machinery is collection of machines factory is a place where workers and machines come together to work library is collection of books laboratory is a place where chemicals and equipment are kept and experiments are done 
dictionary is collection of words, dairy is collection of milk giving animals, poultry is collection of chickens, birds, etc. Having understood the root word ARYARI, ERYARI or ORYARI, which means collection of things, we can learn quite a lot of words. Apiary, Aviary, Millinery, Lapidary, Sanctuary, Sanctuary, Commissary, Refectory, Monastery, Seminary, Yapothekari, all these words are ending with ARYARI, ERYARI or ORYARI. Yapiari, Yapiari is a place where honey bees are kept or honey is produced. Apiary is a place where honey bees are kept or honey is produced. Aviary, avian, avian is anything related to birds. So birds belong to a family called avian family. You all probably remember a problem called avian flu or bird flu because of which there was a scare all over the world. So what is aviary? Many of you might have visited a zoo or a zoological park. In a zoo, there is a particular area where different types of birds are kept. So that enclosure or the place where different types of birds are kept is called aviary. Millinery, so women wear hats. So in western culture, hat is a very very important part of your attire. So a place where fashionable women's hats, a place where fashionable women's hats are kept, collected, accumulated, displayed or sold is what is called millinery. So millinery is basically a hat store or where a place where hats are kept. You can be called millinery. Lapidary. Lapidary is a place where precious stones, a place where precious stones like diamonds, rubies, amethysts, gems, etc are kept, collected, accumulated, displayed or sold. So it's a place where you can buy diamonds, you can buy rubies, you can buy any of these gems or precious stones are kept is called lapidary. Yapothecary. Yapothecary is another name for a pharmacy, a medical shop or a druggist. So apothecary is a pharmacy, a place where you can buy medicines or what is generally called a druggist. So a medicine store or a druggist is what is called apothecary. Sometimes you also write the spelling with K-A-R-Y in different countries, so that's okay. Now another word is sanctuary. The word sanctuary actually comes from a root word called sanct. Sanct means holy or pure. Sanct means holy or pure. 
sanctuary literally means a pure place or a holy place. But over time, this has taken a meaning called a safe place. Tiger sanctuary, bird sanctuary, elephant sanctuary. How a pure place or a holy place has taken a meaning called a safe place? In the old days, there were many small, small kingdoms. And many of these small kings used to fight with one another. My enemy attacked me. I want to run away and save my life because the primary duty of a man is to save his life. I go and hide in a school, my enemy will come and kill me. I go and hide in a hotel, my enemy will come and kill me. I go and hide in a hospital, my enemy will come and kill me. But if I go and hide in a church, I go and hide in a masjid, I go and hide in a mosque, I go and hide in a temple, will my enemy come and kill me? Probably not. Because even my enemy, maybe he is the most cruel person, but he is also afraid to do a crime in a religious place. So in the old days, a religious place or holy place is the safest place. That's how sanctuary, which is a holy place or a religious place, has taken a meaning called a safe place. One more word coming from A-R-Y-E-R-I or E-R-Y-E-R-I is a word called Marchuri. Mart, M-O-R-T, Mart means death, mortal. We are all human beings, we are all mortal. We are all mortal means we will all die one day or the other. So what is Marchuri? Marchuri or Morgue. Marchuri or morgue is in any hospital, there is a room where dead bodies are kept. So the room where dead bodies are kept is called marchuri or morgue. Commissary or refectory. Commissary or refectory are given in dictionaries as a dining hall. But in your house, Father, mother, brother, sister, your family sits on a dining table and eats. Probably you do not call it as a commissary or refectory. A commissary or refectory is a community dining hall. You go to a military camp, an army camp. There is a huge dining hall where all the soldiers come, sit and eat at a place. You are, you know, going to a religious place. In a religious place, there is a huge dining hall where all the monks or devotees come and eat. You work for a huge firm. In that there is a cafeteria where a large number of people come and eat. That's called a commissary or refectory. Commissary or refectory is a community dining hall where a large number of people come and eat. Normally a army, an army or a military or a religious dining hall is what is called a commissary or refectory. Monastery and seminary. Monastery and seminary are again words that are used in religion. Monastery or seminary is a place where monks, so what are monks? Religious people, religious personalities. So a place where monks or religious people live or a place where monks or religious people are provided food, accommodation and religious education is what is called a monastery or a seminary. So while discussing this, we have discussed some words ending with A-R-Y Yeri. While discussing this, I have explained a word called commissary. Commissary, I told you, is a dining hall. The word commissary sounds very, very, very similar and thus is confused with another word called commissariate. Commissariate basically means to show sympathy. Commiserate is to show sympathy or to show your positive feeling towards something. To show your feeling of sympathy to something is called commiserate. 
the word commiserate is also confused with another word commensurate mr narsi how much money do you earn my ability to earn money is commensurate with my ability to work hard my ability to earn is commensurate with my ability to spend hey what is your score in the test my score in the test is commensurate with the amount of hard work and preparation i had put in so commensurate is anything that is proportional or equal or on par with so proportional equal or on par with is what is called commensurate so we have discussed a word apiary apiary ended with a r y e r y and from this we have learned lot of words here while discussing this i have explained a word called sanctuary and i told you sanctuary came from a root word called sanct sanct means pure sanct means holy from this word called sanct we have a word called sanctity what is sanctity sanctity is purity holiness or the correctness of something if everybody wants to do what they want to do what is the sanctity of the constitution what is the sanctity of society and rules what is the sanctity of a system called a family so sanctity is where purity or holiness from this we also have one more word sacrosanct sacrosanct comes from sacre which means pure sanct also means pure so sacrosanct is also very 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 pure or very 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 holy or something that cannot be violated role of a mother in any culture is very very sacrosanct you cannot make some stupid comments about a mother you can make stupid jokes about wife you can make stupid jokes about girlfriend <coughs> but if you make some stupid joke about a mother everybody will get shocked because that's considered sacrosanct constitution is considered sacrosanct so and so political leader is considered sacrosanct the pope is considered sacrosanct very 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 holy or something that cannot be violated something that cannot be questioned cannot be talked cheaply about while discussing these words i have also explained a word marchuri marchuri we learnt is a word that came from mart mart means death so from this mart we can take words like mortal immortal mortal is having death immortal is not having death so we learnt a word called marchuri morg and from this we have learnt various words next word we will take up is a word aplomb what is aplomb aplomb is a very positive word aplomb is a word that is used to describe the way a person carries himself or herself in a situation in day to day life in our business in our workplace in our school we all come across different types of situations sometimes positive sometimes negative whenever many of us have a positive situation we get excited we get carried away whenever we are faced with a negative situation we become tensed up nervous irritated and we become over excited but there are some people any situation positive or negative they carry themselves with grace they carry themselves with style they carry themselves with confidence they carry themselves with a tremendous amount of you know positive attitude and they handle a situation very well so we can say she carried herself with aplomb he handled the situation with aplomb he took the award with aplomb 
So any situation you handle with lot of grace, lot of grace, charm, confidence, style, ability. These are all interrelated qualities. So when you handle a situation or when you behave in a certain situation with a lot of charm, lot of grace, lot of ability, lot of competence, then we say this person carried himself with aplomb or this person handled the situation with aplomb. Next word we will take up starting with A is a word called Yapogi. Or some people pronounced as Yapogi. So what is Yapogi? Yapogi and Perigi or Yapogi and Perigi. We all know planets revolve around the sun. So earth is one of the planets that revolves around the sun. And in your school level geography class, you might have learned that the earth revolves around the sun in a elliptical orbit. There is a point when the earth is closest to the sun. There is a point where the earth is farthest from the sun. The point where earth is nearest to the sun while it is revolving or while it is moving is called perigee. The point where the earth is the farthest is called yapogi. So yapogi is the farthest point. Sometimes it is also given as the topmost point or the highest point. <coughs> and some occasions you can take it as a synonym of apex, summit, etc. He reached the yapogi of his career. He reached the yapogi in his business. He reached the yapogi of his career in by getting 100 percentile in the test. Yapogi is the farthest, topmost point. Perigi is the closest, nearest point. So friends, we have learnt lot of words in this session. I hope you are able to understand and enjoy. Please give us your feedback by writing to us at our email id promaccoaching at gmail.com You could also get in touch with us by visiting our website www.promacprep.com So thank you very much. In the next session we will discuss some more words. Thank you.